talk about atheists again. I'm more and more believing there's no such thing as somebody who doesn't believe in God because people aren't that stupid. We're seriously. Do what? They don't like what he's saying. They don't want to believe it. But but it's not that they, in the back of their mind somewhere they know, yeah, he, he exists. I just don't like it. Uh, no, wait. That's not right either. Okay, so you're acting like it's either your God or nothing. And I can see how you can say that because it's the one true God or whatever you want to say. But uh, many other theists around the globe have also thought the same, same thing of their God. So you're not special in this. Um, your arguments for, well, you know there's a God but you just don't acknowledge him, holds about as much weight with Allah or, you know, all these other gods, Krishna, all these other gods that um, yeah, hold as just, just as much weight as yours in uh, any kind of discussion. I mean, you know that there's a flying spaghetti monster, but you refuse to worship him. You, you know what he's saying, but you don't like it, so you're gonna, oh, I know he exists, but I don't like him. And now you know how atheists feel when you say, well, you know how, you know, God exists, but you just don't want to acknowledge him. Well, same for you. You don't want to acknowledge his noodliness, his supreme sauciness over your God. Well, you then go on to talk about how your God's some sort of celebrity and compare it to human celebrities, which, you know, have all these, ooh, ah, fans, and, oh, so amazed by them. And then you have the other, the haters, the ones that nitpick every flaw and exaggerate every little tiny thing about the individual. And you say, that's how atheists are treating God. They're looking for the minutest detail to make a huge problem out of them whatnot and you make it sound like atheists versus the Christian God and that's all atheists are. News for you, atheists do not believe in any gods, yours included, not just yours. Many atheists do not believe in your God just as much as they do not believe in Krishna or Allah or fucking Woden, any of them. I mean, come on. And I'm, I know you ain't a fan of the swear words, so I'm sorry for that, but you're making it sound like all atheists versus your God. And that's all we do is just look for your God to pick on. And I'm sorry you feel that way because that's certainly not the case. See, I, I'm not going to debate scripture. I'm not going to go into the depths of prove it, prove it, prove it, prove it, prove it. <laughs> proves himself. He doesn't need any help from me proving who he is. <laughs> look out the window like Grandpa Jim said. You know, look in the mirror. God doesn't need any help proving him. You know, you just need help seeing the proof. All right, Yoko, looking out the window. <sighs> Waiting on that evidence, apparently. Any second now. <sighs> Nature sure has done a fine job on those trees, on that grass, on the soil on us to build those buildings. God, evidence for you, still waiting. Oh, wait, now I see what you're trying to say. His creation proves him. Well, no, we can explain his creation in human terms, so, yeah, evidence for God. There we go. Uh, natural processes that human beings can explain just fine and know exactly how it happened. <sighs> Where is this God of the gaps? Then I guess I must be missing the evidence. I must be overlooking something. I must not be seeing what you're seeing. I wonder why. You're not an atheist. 
you're not. You are correct, sir. I am a Pastafarian. I worship his noodliness, which you vehemently deny. You see the evidence all around you, his creation. You feel gravity, his newly appendage pushing you down, holding you tight to this earth so that he can love you. But you deny him. You deny his noodliness. Such a shame. And so, Yoke Up, from one knucklehead to another, I just want to let you in on my own Christian past. Um, I was as dedicated to your religion as you are now. I spent most of my young life spreading the word of Jesus Christ, teaching others about Yahweh. Um, you know, I loved the religion, I loved the God for the longest time. Um, eventually, I started to see the rest of the world. I started to read up on the rest of the world's history and the rest of the world's religious background and I started to realize that gods are, are as much of a fantasy and and a man-made delusion that you know as uh, as fairies or dragons or leprechauns and things of that nature ghosts spirits souls afterlife all that made up in your mind to make you feel better or to give this life some sort of mystical quality that's beyond you and you really don't need a god to feel that way, but in your case, you are the stubborn one. You don't want to see past your god. You refuse to see past your god. Um, you don't want to venture out of your comfort bubble uh, just to take a peek. I mean, even if you take a peek, look around, try other things, and come back, that's fine. But it's closed-minded bigots like you that, that really grind my gears. I mean... You haven't even taken a step back to to actually question the atheist position. Like, see it from our point of view, really. You haven't even taken that into consideration that there just might not be your God, or any God. I mean, maybe you have, but by this video, um, you've shown that you don't believe in atheists. They don't really exist, so how could you possibly have taken a step out of your bubble and look at it from our point of view.